We're going to go to 2006 now. I've been, I've been in this racket for about 30 years now, and you have your series of it moments where you truly come away from a competition remembering what you saw on the field because it was so amazing. 2006, the scene is Burnaby Swangard Stadium. It's the opening day of the BC High School Track and Field Championships. I wander over to the Javelin Pit. It's the first event of the day. It must be 8 o'clock in the morning and this one competitor from Kitsilano steps up to the line uh, for, the, for the girls' javelin and her name is Liz Gleedle. She throws the javelin and I gotta do this to illustrate what happened. She, she rears back, she throws and I go, Literally, the javelin was, went so far that the rest of the competitors kind of just looked at it and went, oh, we're competing for second today. And that was Liz Gleedle. And of course, Liz getting to the London Olympics. Um, so proud and thrilled for her uh, and the whole Kitsilano sports family. I know very much behind the efforts of Liz Gleedle, who went on to a great collegiate career, an NAIA champion at UBC over her collegiate career, but now training in Lethbridge, I believe, uh, and, and shooting for another Olympic Games. And, it's been an incredible, incredible rise to national, international prominence for Liz Gleedle in the sport of javelin. I bumped into Liz at the UBC um, spring football game last week and had a chance to renew some old acquaintances there. And she said, wow, you've been covering me for years now. And we've talked about that, that big throw. It's still the girls' high school BC record. Uh, so Liz Gleedle from 2006, great memories and a great member of Head of the Class. 2007 was a real special year for Head of the Class year, and we've been reminiscing about a lot of the uh, alumni that we're talking about here today as we look at perhaps the top 10 Head of the Class selections. And Rob Sacre is a name that I know many, many people are familiar with. His NBA season just ended recently uh, with the Los Angeles Lakers. So here's a guy who played at Hansworth Secondary in North Vancouver, uh, went on to a great collegiate career at Gonzaga University in Spokane, and last June was the very last pick uh, of the NBA draft and great to talk to Rob after he was picked by the Lakers with the last pick of the draft and the elation he had was so great to, to hear. Um, when he came for head of the class as a grade 12 student, I can still remember he had one tattoo. It was a new tattoo and it was of a fleur-de-lis. It actually reflects um, some of his family heritage, uh, the, the fleur-de-lis tattoo. And if you look at a picture of Rob Sacre these days, he's very illustrated. He's got a lot of tattoos. But if you can find that fleur-de-lis tattoo, that's the one that started all of them way back in 2007. When he was the high school basketball star dreaming of making it to the NBA. And Rob Sacre has made his dream come true, and we were thrilled to have him as a part of Head of the Class in 2007. And we are going to move to 2008, uh, a very, very special student athlete named Rebecca Marino, a tennis player. Uh, Rebecca recently took an indefinite leave from the sport of tennis, but uh, she provided uh, obviously tennis fans in BC and Canada with some great thrills through her, through her professional career. A member of Head of the Class, as we mentioned in 2008, and I can remember Rebe Rebecca coming into the photo studio with her mom, uh, we wanted to get the ball in the shot. So we were throwing tennis balls from all different directions at Rebecca Marino. And, we, we saw the delivery as she met the ball for the camera, very patient, and just stayed there all afternoon, hitting these balls back at the, at the photographer that day in really fun uh, moments with Rebecca Marino because she had originally committed to an NCAA Division I tennis career, decided she wanted to go out on the Pro Tour, and of course we saw what had happened. She got as high as number 38 in the world rankings, the U.S. Open, the Australian Open, and Wimbledon. Uh, you know, Rebecca Marino uh, got a chance to experience the game at its highest levels. And great to see that climb from the time she was in the 12th grade and part of head of the class way back in 2008.